Project to eliminate a dangerous chemical agent in Pueblo is now ahead of schedule. Since 2015, crews have been hard at work to destroy the stockpile of World War II weapons at the U.S. Army Chemical Depot outside of Pueblo. Today, the plant can say 75% of the chemical agent is destroyed. Cardio News Channel 13's Dan Beatty reports from Pueblo. The chemical weapons stockpile has been here in Pueblo County since the 1950s. Tons and tons of bombs, projectiles and mortars all stored right here. But this month, the people who have been dismantling these dangerous weapons every single day say the end is near. Uh, we should complete uh, sometime late 20. This month, the Pueblo Chemical Agent Destruction Pilot Plant is proud to announce 75% of the mustard agent at the Chemical Depot in Pueblo is gone. Back in 2015, Congress mandated the complete destruction of the stockpile of weapons by the end of 2023, but crews plan on being done months before then. Munitions been here since the mid-50s, so being able to rid the community, if not the nation and the world, of chemical weapons or weapons of mass destruction is a great thing for the project, for the community, and for the state. Some of the explosives are completely destroyed. The 155 millimeter projectiles were disposed of last year, but other explosives like the 105 and the 4.2 inch mortar rounds are still there. In order to speed up the process, the plant is bringing in a new technology. It's called the static detonation chamber. A pressure vessel that is electrically heated that sets off the explosives with inside the munitions. Uh, so there's, uh, unlike our main plant where we have to take the munitions apart. As soon as the state of Colorado approves the new tech, the plant will operate three detonation chamber units at a time. Reporting in Pueblo, Dan Beatty, KRDO News Channel 13. Well, we are seeing a dramatic increase in the number of anonymous tips coming in.